Hey, what's going on there, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm gonna, I was actually gonna ride down Route 9, but I figure I would take you to another little road that I took one time when the Taconic was closed. And I found it to be pretty cool. It was uh, all in the car, it seemed pretty windy, but I never, I never got to go down this road again. So, when I get close to it, I'm gonna hook up the other camera and we'll do the two views. Uh, maybe I'll point that one forward. I'll have to see. Anyhow, a um, little short update as to what has been going on with me as far as, uh, I guess, yesterday and today. Well, yesterday, you know, I had some starter issues with the car. My wife called me the other night and she was like, oh God, Bruce, the car won't start. Oh my God, I don't know what to do, the car won't start. And then she, oh, oh, I turned the lights off and it started. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, so I was like, hey, whatever, I didn't think anything of it. Uh, this is always beautiful over here. This is the Hudson and uh, over there is route 9d if i'm not mistaken is 9d and i could run that on down it'll drop me out to the beginning of beer mountain but i'm not going to take that way i've done vlogs on that before and if i could find it i'll put it up in a little tag on our right hand corner there where uh the train runs right along here and that would actually take you all the way up to the city and it's always really nice so anyhow, uh, back to the story. We're just gonna do this short story and then you know, shut it off and then we get to roll. But uh, back to the story. So I take the car, I get in, and then lo and behold, my wife left the lights on, right? But the car has this feature, and you can also walk across this bridge. The car has this feature where if the lights are on, it, it, you know, you'll still be able to start the car. It won't kill the battery. So basically what ends up happening is as soon as you open the door, the light shut off. I don't know how it's built in. I don't know how it's wired in, but that's pretty much how, that's pretty much how the car is wired. Uh, it's an older car, man. It's a 2003 Hyundai Elantra. I've got 205,000 miles on it and I'm just kind of running it right now, back and forth. Uh, kind of trying to take advantage of there's no car payment, I'm trying to keep the bills low and such and such and such. Uh, so I get to work, you know, I do my shift and I get off and I go to the car. When I go to the car, I, I turn the, I turn the switch, nothing. You know, the lights, everything lights up, lights work, everything works good. Turn the, turn the key, nothing. Not even a, not even a, nothing, bro, just nothing. So I call my buddy, uh, you know, one of my, uh, one of my other buddies at work that, you know, he's pretty much like, you might as well say a brother to me you know sometimes if we have car troubles whichever one of us you know and it kind of goes for a lot of the guys that work if one of us has car troubles dude we can go for weeks on end you know i'll go pick you up and and bring you to work and sometimes they gotta pick me up and bring me to work and we try to give each other gas money and we look at each other like we're crazy <laughs> and we'll never take it oh <laughs> look at this jeep bro this jeep is cool isn't that a cool jeep you gotta watch this minivan right here yeah, well, that's a nice Jeep, man. Anyhow, so he came over with the flashlight, and I left my flashlight in a locker. But uh, he came over with the flashlight, and uh, he pulls out the he pulls out the flashlight, and I'm like, yeah, man, I don't know what the heck's going on. So he pulls out the flashlight. One second, let me get this done. And he comes over with this. He's like, I, he's like, I was like, you got a hammer, bro? Because I was like, I think it's a starter. And he goes, ah, I don't have no, I had a hammer, but my old partner took it. I was like, damn. So he pulls out, uh, he's like, I got a crowbar. I was like, you got a freaking crowbar? What the hell are you doing with a crowbar in your locker? <laughs> anyway, so uh, sure enough. Thank you. So sure enough, 
he pulls out the he pulls out the crowbar okay and uh, all right let's just get situated here so he pulls out the crowbar I go reach in behind the car and I start tapping that starter and that gets it started yeah, if I, I tell him, no, turn the key, turn the key, and I, and I, you know, I tap, 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 and it starts, and I'm like, all right, cool, you know, at least I know it's a starter, so I just went to the store today, and I bought a starter, it cost me about $133 with a $17 core, so it is what it is, you know, so tomorrow I'll pull it down, and I'll uh, put that starter in, but I guess today and tomorrow I'm taking a bike, uh, so we'll see. No big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna come back when I get to that road. I'll set the cameras up when I pull over and get to the road, set the cameras up and we'll record. Alright guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, bye.